Hello, welcome to Blender Time. Thanks for tuning in, let's begin. In this tutorial, I will show a few scenarios where you might encounter two triangles. Then I will show you some techniques on how you can turn these triangles into quads. We start by selecting the cube, press X, choose Delete. Shift A, Add Plane. Tab into Edit Mode. Right click, choose Subdivide. Press Shift R two times to repeat the subdivide operation to add more faces. At top right, click on the Face Select icon. Select this face. Press Ctrl T to triangulate face. Here we have two triangles that are side by side. To turn these triangles into quads, all you have to do is select the two triangles. Then press Alt J to turn the triangles into quad. I am going to show you how to create two triangles so you can follow along if you wanted to. Click on the edge select icon. Select these three edges. And these three edges. Press X. Choose Edge Collapse. There are a few methods we can use to turn these triangles into quads. Method 1. Press Ctrl R. Place the loop cut here. Left click and right click. What used to be triangles, are now quads. We can see this clearly by clicking on the vertex select icon. Select this vertex. Press G twice and drag. I do the same thing to this vertex. Method 2. Go into face select mode. Select these two faces. Press Ctrl T to triangulate faces. Go into edge select mode. Select these three edges. Press Ctrl X to dissolve selection. Now we have all quads. We can see this clearly by going into vertex select mode. Select this vertex. Press G twice and drag. Method 3. Go into edge select mode. Hold down Ctrl Alt. Left click on any of these edges to select them. Hold down Shift Ctrl Alt. Left click on any of these edges to add them to selection. With all these edges selected, press X. Choose Edge Collapse. Depending on the topology and modeling situation, one method might work better than the others. In this example, we will create two triangles that point away from each others. Click on the Edge Select icon. Select these three edges, and these three edges. Press X. Choose Edge Collapse. Method 1 is using Loop Cut. Press Ctrl R. Place the loop cut here. Left click, then right click. To show the quads better, I go into vertex select mode. Select this vertex. Press G twice and drag. I do the same thing with this vertex. Method 2 is using triangulate faces. First, go into face select mode. Select these two faces. Press Ctrl T to triangulate faces. Select these two faces. Press Alt J to turn them into quad. Select these two faces. Press Alt J. And finally these two faces. Press Alt J. Method 3 is using edge collapse. Go into edge select mode. Select these three edges. Press X. Choose edge collapse. Method 4 is using bevel. Select these four edges. Press Ctrl B and drag. Then we select these two edges. Press Ctrl X to dissolve selection. In this example we will look at two triangles that point at each other. Go into edge select mode. Select these three edges. Press X. Choose edge collapse. Method 1 is using the knife tool. Press K for knife. Left click here. Drag over here, left click. Press enter. Select this and this edge. Press Ctrl X. As you can see, what used to be triangles are now quads. The following techniques are techniques we have used before in the previous examples. 
I will demonstrate them again to show you how to use them in this situation. Method 2 is using bevel. Select these two edges. Press Ctrl V and drag. Left click to confirm. Select these two edges. Press Ctrl X. Method 3. Using edge collapse. Go into edge select mode. Hold down Ctrl Alt and left click on any of these edges. Hold down Shift Ctrl Alt and left click on any of these edges. With them selected, press X and choose Edge Collapse. Method 4 is using Loop Cut. Press Ctrl R. Position the mouse cursor here. Left click and right click. Repeat at this side. Press Ctrl R. Position the mouse cursor here. Left click and right click. Next we have two triangles that are pointing in different directions. Method 1 is using the knife tool. Go into vertex select mode. Press K for knife. Then press C for angle constraint. Left click here, here, and here. Press enter. We have a 6 vertices face here. To turn it into quads. Simply select these two vertices. Then press J. Method 2 is using Edge Collapse. Go into Edge Select Mode. Select these four edges. Press X. Choose Edge Collapse. Notice these are all quads now. Method 3 is using Triangulate Faces. Go into Face Select Mode. Select these three faces. Press Ctrl T. Go into Edge Select Mode. This edge is facing the wrong side. We want it to face this side. First, select it. Press Ctrl E. Choose Rotate Edge CW. Now select these four edges. Press Ctrl X to dissolve selection. I go into Vertex Select Mode. As you can see, these are all four vertices faces. Method 4 is using Subdivision Surface Modifier. Note that we have two triangles here. First, tab into Object Mode. At right side of the screen, click on the Modifiers icon. Press Add Modifier. Choose Subdivision Surface. Make sure View is set to 1. Click Simple. Then Apply Modifier. Now we tab into Edit Mode. Notice that what used to be two triangles, are now quads. That conclude our lesson today. As you can see, turning triangles into quads is very easy if you know the proper techniques. That is the main goal of this channel. To spread knowledge. With knowledge, we can work faster and produce better work. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.